Welcome to a showdown between two of the most iconic snakes on earth, the King Cobra and the Russell's Viper. These two serpents are legends in their own right, each commanding respect and fear wherever they are found. Today we'll dive deep into their worlds exploring what makes them so extraordinary and why they stand out among thousands of snake species. In one corner the King Cobra, the longest venomous snake on the planet, instantly recognizable by its dramatic hood and piercing gaze. Renowned for its intelligence this snake is not just a brute force predator, but a calculated hunter that can even recognize its handlers in captivity. A true snake eater, the King Cobra dominates the lush forests of Southeast Asia gliding silently through the undergrowth. Its diet is unique, other snakes including venomous ones are its preferred prey making it a top predator in its ecosystem. In the other, the Russell's Viper, an expert in camouflage, blending seamlessly into dry grass and leaf litter. This viper is responsible for more snakebite deaths in Asia than almost any other, making it both feared and respected by those who share its habitat. It's a powerhouse of venom, lurking unseen in fields and farmlands where people often work and walk. Its ability to remain motionless for hours makes it a master ambush predator, striking with lightning speed when prey, or an unsuspecting human, comes too close. The King Cobra is all about size, speed and strategy. It can reach lengths of up to 18 feet and move with surprising agility. The Russell's Viper, on the other hand, relies on stealth, patience and the sheer potency of its venom to survive and thrive. Today we'll compare their size, habitats, hunting styles and the deadly venoms they wield. We'll see how their unique adaptations have allowed them to become apex predators in very different environments. This isn't just about who would win in a fight, it's about understanding two of nature's most successful and fascinating predators, each with their own story of survival and dominance. Get ready for a journey into the wild, where evolution has crafted two very different, but equally formidable serpents. Their rivalry is not just a battle, but a testament to the diversity and power of nature. Let the ultimate snake showdown begin, prepare to witness a clash of legends. Meet the King Cobra, Ophiophagus hanna, the Snake Eater. This legendary serpent is not only the largest of all venomous snakes but also one of the most fascinating and misunderstood creatures in the animal kingdom. Its very name, Ophiophagus, means Snake Eater, a title it lives up to with remarkable prowess. Its diet? Other snakes, even venomous ones. That's apex predator status. The King Cobra is so specialized that it rarely eats anything else, and it can take down rivals like crates and even other cobras. This unique diet places it at the very top of its food chain, with few natural enemies. The King Cobra is the world's longest venomous snake, often reaching 10 to 13 feet, with some giants over 18 feet. Imagine encountering a snake longer than a grown man is tall, its sheer size is enough to inspire awe and respect, its slender muscular body allows it to move with surprising speed and agility through dense forests. When it rears up, it can look a grown person in the eye, flaring its narrow hood as a warning. This dramatic display is both a defense mechanism and a way to intimidate threats, making the King Cobra one of the most formidable sights in the wild. This snake is smart, among the most intelligent reptiles. It can learn from its environment, remember the locations of prey, and even adapt its hunting strategies. Its alertness and curiosity set it apart from many other snakes. It has excellent eyesight and can spot prey from nearly 300 feet away. Its vision, combined with a keen sense of smell, helps it track down other snakes with incredible precision, even in thick jungle undergrowth. Uniquely, the female builds a nest for her eggs and guards them fiercely, a rare trait among snakes. She uses her body to pile up leaves and debris, creating a protective mound, and will stay with the eggs until they hatch, defending them from predators with unwavering determination. Found in dense forests and jungles of Southeast Asia and India, it prefers thick undergrowth and water sources. These lush, humid environments provide the perfect cover for hunting and nesting and the King Cobra is perfectly adapted to thrive in these challenging habitats. Unlike ambush predators, the King Cobra actively hunts during the day, using its senses and speed it glides silently through the forest, following scent trails and relying on its intelligence to outwit both prey and potential threats. Its combination of size, intelligence and specialized diet makes it a true monarch of the forest. The King Cobra commands respect from all who share its domain, and its presence is a symbol of power and mystery in the wild. The King Cobra doesn't just survive, 
it reigns. Its reputation as a king is well earned, and its story is one of adaptation, survival, and dominance. A true king in every sense, a living legend of the wild and a testament to the wonders of nature. Now meet the Russell's Viper, Deboya Russelli. It's not as long as the King Cobra, but it's a heavyweight in its own right. With a thick body and triangular head, it's built for power and efficiency. Its camouflage, chain-like patterns in browns and yellows, lets it vanish into dry leaves and grass. The Russell's Viper is an ambush predator waiting motionless for hours near rodent trails. Its bite is lightning fast, delivering potent venom, and then waiting for the prey to succumb. Known for its short temper it hisses loudly and strikes explosively when threatened. Its combination of potent venom, stealth and aggression makes it one of Asia's most feared snakes. A master of survival, hidden in plain sight. Let's talk venom. Two deadly formulas, two very different effects. The King Cobra's venom is primarily neurotoxic, targeting the nervous system. It blocks signals from brain to body, causing paralysis and, if untreated, respiratory failure. Fast acting, it's designed to subdue other snakes quickly. The Russell's Viper, in contrast, wields hemotoxic and cytotoxic venom. Its venom destroys tissue, disrupts blood clotting, and causes massive internal bleeding. Victims suffer intense pain, swelling, and sometimes kidney failure. The King Cobra's venom shuts down the body. The Russell's Viper's venom tears it apart from within. Both are lethal, but in very different ways. One attacks the nerves, the other the blood and tissues. Surviving either bite without treatment is rare. These are chemical weapons honed by evolution. Two snakes, two deadly strategies. How much venom do these snakes deliver and how deadly is it? The King Cobra can inject up to 700 milligrams in a single bite, enough to kill an elephant. Its venom isn't the most potent by volume but the sheer quantity overwhelms prey. The LD50 lethal dose is about 1.3-1.8 mg kg, deadly but not the most toxic. The Russell's Viper injects less, 40 to 250 milligrams, but its venom is far more potent. Its LD50 can be as low as 0.1 mg per kilogram, making every drop count. A single bite can be fatal to humans if untreated. The King Cobra relies on volume, the Russell's Viper on concentration. Both strategies are devastatingly effective. In the world of venom it's not just how much but how strong. When it comes to size, the King Cobra is unmatched, up to 18 feet of muscle and power. Its long body gives it a huge strike range and an intimidating presence. The Russell's Viper is shorter, averaging 4 feet but thick and muscular, built for ambush, not pursuit. The King Cobra rules dense forests, rainforests, and swamps, preferring secluded, humid environments. It's less likely to encounter humans, but habitat loss is changing that. The Russell's Viper thrives in grasslands, farmlands, and even near human settlements. Its adaptability brings it into frequent contact with people, one reason for its notoriety. The King Cobra is a ruler of shrinking forests, the Russell's Viper, a phantom of the fields. Each snake is perfectly adapted to its world. Their habitats shape their hunting, their behavior, and their encounters with us. Where they live defines how they survive. Two snakes, two worlds. How do these snakes react to danger? The King Cobra is surprisingly shy, preferring to escape rather than fight. But if cornered or defending its nest it rises up, flares its hood, and emits a deep growl, a final warning. If pushed, it strikes with speed and precision. The Russell's Viper on the other hand is quick to stand its ground. It relies on camouflage first, but if discovered, it coils, hisses loudly, and prepares to strike. Its bite is fast, forceful, and almost always delivers venom. The King Cobra may give a dry warning bite, the Viper rarely holds back. The Viper's strategy, neutralize threats instantly. The Cobras avoid conflict but fight fiercely if forced. Two temperaments, two survival tactics, both are dangerous when provoked. So, in a head-to-head -head battle, who would truly come out on top, King Cobra or Russell's Viper? This is a clash between two of the most formidable snakes in the world, each with its own deadly arsenal and unique survival strategies. Let's break down what happens when these titans meet. The Russell's Viper is renowned for its lightning-fast strike and highly potent venom. Its bite can kill a human in hours, and its coiled posture is a warning to any would-be attacker. The Viper's camouflage and patience make it a master ambush predator, able to wait motionless for the perfect moment to attack. 
But the King Cobra is a specialist snake eater, evolved over millennia to hunt and kill other venomous snakes. It's not just a predator, it's the apex predator of the snake world, with a diet that often includes other deadly serpents. Its sheer size, impressive reach, and years of experience give it a major edge in any confrontation. The King Cobra can grow up to 18 feet long, towering over most rivals, and its intimidating hood display can make even the boldest animals hesitate. The Cobra's strategy is all about precision, dodging, feinting, and striking at the back of the neck, which is the opponent's most vulnerable spot. This technique is the result of countless encounters with other snakes, making the King Cobra a true expert in reptilian combat. Once it lands a bite, the King Cobra's neurotoxic venom acts with incredible speed, paralyzing its prey almost instantly. Remarkably, the King Cobra often has a natural resistance to the venom of other snakes, giving it a huge advantage in these deadly duels. The Viper, on the other hand, has no such resistance to Cobra venom, once bitten, it stands little chance of recovery, no matter how dangerous its own venom might be. While a viper bite could certainly injure the cobra, it's unlikely to be instantly fatal. The king cobra's size and resilience allow it to withstand attacks that would kill most other animals. The king cobra's unique adaptations, intelligence, and sheer physical power make it the likely victor in most encounters with the Russell's viper. Its ability to outthink and overpower its opponent is unmatched in the snake world. In the wild, the King Cobra truly reigns supreme among snakes, patrolling its territory with confidence and rarely facing defeat. The Russell's Viper is undeniably deadly but the King Cobra is the king for a reason. Its combination of brains, brawn and specialization sets it apart from all challengers. In this ultimate matchup it's not just Venom that wins the day, it's intelligent size and a lifetime of hunting other snakes that tip the scales. The King Cobra takes the crown, standing tall as the undisputed champion of the snake world. Imagining these battles is thrilling, but in reality, both snakes are vital to their ecosystems. The King Cobra controls snake populations, the Russell's Viper keeps rodents in check. Neither is a monster, both are masterpieces of evolution. They deserve respect, not fear. If you encounter one, keep your distance and appreciate its role in nature. Both species face threats from habitat loss and human conflict. Conservation and education are key to their survival. Let's protect these incredible animals and the wild places they call home. They remind us of nature's power, beauty, and balance. Thanks for joining this journey into the world of two serpent titans.